On Monte Carlo's short, twisty circuit, there is room for only 16 cars. Invitations to factory teams and the like took 12 places. That left four places open, places to go to the four cars making the fastest laps in practice. There were nine cars trying for those four places. One was Camarade's Cooper Climax, Maston Gregory driving. Practice day. What comes of the drawing boards is pulled apart in the garage. What is discovered on the course is debated in the pits. Performances are analyzed. Guesses and hunches are respected. Problems are tackled. There is a constant give and take within the whole fraternity of racing. The sum total of all the information, experience, and theory ultimately rests with the driver who carries it into the cockpit. And this last series of delicate adjustments, the balance between man and machine, is a private area with the driver, Maston Gregory, and his mechanic, Aidan Jones, as principal. Well, reasonably good. I've got quite a few things I want to change. The steering ratio is not very good. I'm put that slow ratio in. It's too slow. I've got to go back to number eight box. Can you do that? Yep. We'll do that right away. On gear ratio, what I'd like to do, I'd like to go to a higher ratio, and then we won't bother with fifth gear. We just use fourth gear, and that give us a lower ratio overall. I think we'd be better off or work out a little bit better in the corners, too. Yeah, well, then we'll uh, step up the ratio and uh, change the steering. Let's put a 476 in. That should give us about a 536 overall if we just use fourth gear. And also, I'd like to raise the steering wheel up over the chassis tube instead of having it below, because it's fouling up with my legs, and I can't get around those hairpins very good. Oh, yes, that'll be more comfortable. You won't have to swing around about so much. Yeah, it'll be a lot easier. Now, let me see what else here is. I'm having a little trouble with the front brakes. They're locking, and I don't know what it is, but can we get Mintex people to check that? Yes, certainly. Fine, and we can get both of them over there. They can look at the brake disc and also the brake pads. They can see how well they're wearing. I'm trying to figure out what else there is to check. Uh, well, I'd like a number two roll bar, and we've got to have that in the front. That number three is too heavy, and I'm getting too much understeer. I'm just plowing all the way around the station corner. I've got to, and in fact, around all the corners, it's very bad. I won't give a little oversteer. Yeah, well, we could get a bit on the tire pressures as well. Uh, you know, we've got a little bit of problem there, too, because I'm in a pretty high water temperature. I don't want to boil out. Well, you don't have to worry about that at all, Maston, because uh, we're using down gear there. You don't have water. If you won't have any boiling problems or anything like that, it'll uh, just run to the temperature and... Yeah, you know. we're running there in temperature, so we're okay there. Okay, that's good. The driver's intuitive feelings about his vehicle, sometimes vague and indefinite, are understood and grasped by his mechanic as if simple statements of fact. 